Good day, guys. Welcome back to Mango Invest. Well, it's been a, about a month since I've um, uploaded a video onto YouTube. But work's been extremely busy, but I wanted to um, do a bit of a portfolio update. A lot, a lot has changed. A lot more dividends have been coming through as we add more money uh, into the individual companies. Uh, but also the interface uh, for stake. They've updated this, you know, brand new uh, look about the website, which I like. It's better than the old one. It looks a little bit more sort of user friendly. Uh, with a couple of extra um, additional features, which we're still trying to navigate. I'm still getting used to where uh, everything is, but uh, on the top uh, left-hand side here, you can see the portfolio equity is sitting at $294,000. Um, that's a little bit uh, less due to, you know, we're continuing to sell Microsoft as that sort of increases in um, increases in value there. So you see the, the cash position sitting at, you know, $18,000 uh, USD. You know, you've got a, total uh, portfolio return of just over a thousand dollars that's because you know when we sell microsoft we're actually losing that that sort of profit and that that'll just go all the way into the cash position so it's a little bit more than what it actually says there um, and just in the day we'll down about one thousand four hundred dollars uh, a cool feature that i like here um, this is all in us currency but if you click the aud tab there it actually uh, translate that to uh, australian currency so realistically you know, we're, we're 50 grand short or a little bit less because the, the cash here. So I think we're about like 20 to $30,000 short of half a million dollars in Australian currency, which is pretty exciting. Um, but I really want to just straight away jump into um, what the holdings are looking like. So just on the right hand side here, let's click the holdings table and we can see, you know, how much um, uh, we've got in value. So with Apple, we're sitting at, you know, $21,000 of total equity. Um, AG and C, we're sort of bumping up, you know, these high paying dividend companies um, to $30,000. Alibaba is still sitting at $20,000 and the total return for Alibaba is negative 16 or almost negative $17,000, you know, it's sitting around the $72 um, price per share there. Uh, Bank of Montreal sitting at just $9,000 with $2,000 of total equity. Uh, Bank of Nova Scotia, just a nice cool $10,000 there. Jeppy, we've bumped it up heaps, you know, I mean, $41,000. Uh, Coca-Cola, just sitting at twelve grand. LTC, $15,000. Uh, Triple M, I've kind of ignored Triple M for the last sort of couple of months, haven't really been adding anything. The reason why I haven't sold it is because we're just negative $1,400, so I don't really want to, like, lose any money. Uh, Microsoft is only sitting at $20,000 due to you know, uh, selling as it, as it rises up. You know, we've got a share price of $428, which is absolutely huge. Uh, we're still, you know, in profit by roughly $9,000. So I'll probably end up selling more, you know, five, 10 shares here and there as we stick around that $420 sort of mark. Uh, whoops, let's just go back there. Uh, what are we looking? Realty Income Corporation, we're sitting at $32,000. QILD, we bumped that up uh, tremendously. They've got an awesome dividend yield of like 11%. Um, and you'll see that later, like when we start to look at the dividends, they're just paying like massive numbers there every single month. Uh, SCHD, I've kind of been ignoring that. I've really been focusing all my attention on the higher paying dividend companies like QILD, JEPI, uh, AGNC, and all those sort of companies. Uh, SBHD, it's another monthly payer. Just eight grand sitting in there. Got an awesome two thousand dollars worth of profit, so that could be an idea whether to just to, you know, sell, you know, that company for its profit and just redistribute that into higher paying dividend companies. But I think we'll just wait and see. Uh, I've got AT and T just sitting at five thousand um, dollars. Again, I don't want to sell because I'm negative a thousand dollars from that one. Uh, and Tesla is a bit of a weird one. We've got a total equity of six thousand dollars. You know. Four and a half thousand is total profit. So I've only put, you know, $2,000 of my own investment into that. Um, but realistically, the Tesla just keeps dropping in price um, as, the, as the time goes by. So unsure of what I'm going to do with Tesla uh, in the meantime. But let's try and navigate our way into uh, the transactions. I'm not new trade activity. I'm not too sure exactly where uh, all this is. If we go Wall Street... Okay, so here's some of the most recent trade activity. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the transactions tab, uh, which is kind of annoying to manage funds. Oh, here we go. So the transactions. 
and we'll go Wall Street, right? Because I've got nothing in the Australian account here, so we'll just go straight over to the Wall Street account. All right, and then we'll chuck in a couple of uh, filters. We'll go the buyers and the sellers, so you can see that. Um, how much I've deposited. Um, I haven't withdrew anything, so there's no point of doing that. Dividends. Yeah, we'll just have a look at the uh, the total dividends here. So I want to go back to February uh, because that's probably what we're now uh, what we haven't covered. I'll start with the uh, deposit on the tenth of uh, Feb. Chucked in. Uh, I think that was like a two thousand dollar deposit, Australian currency, and here's what we're talking about: AGNC paying a massive dividend of three hundred and seventy dollars, and then uh, we've sold Microsoft for a profit of uh, two thousand dollars USD. Uh, Apple paying just a measly dividend of 30 bucks. Uh, Realty Income Corporation, $161. Um, what's the $29? SBHD, yeah, just a measly 20, 29. Yeah, I think this is probably my biggest dividend that I've ever received from one company, QILD, paying me a massive $431, which is huge. Um, and again, that's just contributing to the cash. So when you know Microsoft and Apple sort of reduce in price, I'm just going to you know, use all these dividends just to bolster up those growth companies. Uh, you've got the Bank of Montreal paying me a good $105. LTC, $91.50. Uh, Jeppy, they only pay me $218. Now, their dividends or their, uh, you know, price per share on how much they paid sort of uh, varies every single month. So this is more of the lower months. We can actually click into here and see how much they've paid. Yeah, so you can see there, they've only paid 30 cents per share, whereas, you know, a regular sort of month, you're looking at 42 to 45 cents per share. So hopefully the next one that we'll see um, is a little bit a little bit higher. AGNC again, it's 370 bucks, absolutely awesome. Uh, we've got Triple M paying me $56.10. Microsoft, $46. Uh, Realty Income Corporation, $161 there. Now, we've got a couple of sales from Microsoft pretty much um, one day after the other. So I sold 10 shares and that got me, you know, 4,200. And then I sold a further uh, five shares the next day just because it kept rising in price. So I really want to, you know, not, not get too greedy and, and just uh, take the gains where I can and build up that cash position so um, we, can, we can take an opportunity when it comes. Uh, and then I've just uh, made another $4,000 deposit um, Australian currency, as you can see there. Uh, and then that's got me $2,500 USD. So o overall, like what I've done over the past sort of three to four months, I've exited out of a lot of companies and I've kind of narrowed it down to my, my best 12 to 13 companies. Let's see how much I have actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so 16 companies there. And I think I'll, I'll probably look to sell out of a couple more. But there was one uh, one more tab I actually wanted to show you guys here. Let's go manage funds. Yeah, and then down the bottom here, so the bottom right-hand side. So this is taking into consideration um, US currency. We've got $313,000, uh, and that's that's together the equity and the cash. But then, you know, when you translate it to uh, Australian currency, the total portfolio value is sitting at 478 almost $479,000 Australian. So like we're, we're $22,000 or $21,000 away from half a million dollars, which is going to be, you know, a fairly big, uh, fairly big milestone uh, for the portfolio. We've been investing since, you know, 2019. Uh, and we, you know, started with what, like $300 in, in a position with Apple. So look how far it's grown with just a bit of um, consistency, reinvesting the dividends and, regularly um, depositing money from, you know, uh, your work and so forth. But that uh, basically concludes the video. Uh, if you did want to sign up with Stake and get a free stock, um, you can use this code here, chrism965, when you sign up. Um, I'll put an invite link uh, in the description of uh, the video here. Uh, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. So, you know, it's basically free money. So why wouldn't you do it? But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, the update. I'll try and uh, be a little bit more consistent with the videos. No, I know you guys enjoy them, so um, have fun and I'll catch you in the next one.